Hi, for those of you who haven't met me, my name is Dave. I work in marketing here at Evolve North Coffee Roasters. And I've noticed that a lot of cafes and restaurants and hotels, etc., etc., they tend to spend a lot of their time in their online marketing, focusing on social media and advertising, which is great. It's good, don't get me wrong. But there's something else we could be doing that is free for a start and potentially makes you a little bit different so you show up more on the internet. I'm talking about Google Business Profile. So today, what I'm gonna show you is the first thing I would do if one of my friends or one of the clients asked me, hey, could you look at my internet marketing for 10 minutes? I'm just sort of want your opinion. Here's what I'd do in 10 minutes. I wouldn't just look, I'd go through these steps and I'd make some changes. So obviously there's a lot more to do down the track and get a photographer in, et cetera, et cetera. But let's spend 10 valuable minutes just looking through what we can do right now with a laptop or a phone and 10 minutes of time and nothing else. Let's get into Google. Firstly, what is Google Business Profile? Well, the first thing it is, is free. And it's also a service that allows business owners or managers to control how their business appears in places like Google search results pages and on Google Maps. You might find that your business actually already has one without you lifting a finger. So Google it's in their best interest for every business in the world to be found on Google Maps and on their search results pages. So using information like GPS data and tags that people apply to photos and all sorts of different signals, they can automatically generate a profile for your business. But obviously today we're going to talk about logging in and making changes for yourself so that we're sure that all the information on there is correct and updated by you. So why should small businesses, especially hospitality businesses, use Google Business Profile? Why bother? Well, firstly, it's free. And secondarily, everyone else is certainly not doing it. So your competitors Editors, people on your street are not doing it. We can see that by just looking at their profiles. It's pretty obvious that not everyone is putting the time into this. A lot of hospitality businesses will focus their efforts in marketing on social media, which is fine, it works, but it could often mean that social media feeds are flooded with lots of similar businesses screaming for the same people's attention for the same target audience. Um, another good reason for it is search terms on places like Google Maps are actually really high intent. So in hospitality, you're selling coffee, you're selling sandwiches a lot of the time. You're not doing, you're not making business that requires a long decision to be made. Someone types in the word coffee while they're in the middle of a town they don't live in. It's because they're trying to find coffee and they want one right now. So if you can be at the top of that search results page, then guess what? You've just earned a customer. Also, did I mention it's free? Okay, so let's search for best pubs Benella. We get three results. There's the golf club, there's the Farmer's Arms Hotel, and there's the Northeastern Hotel. Today, the Farmer's Arms are allowing us to use their profile as an example to show you. Obviously, our goal is to be at the top whenever someone searches for anything to do with pubs, or if they search for the word pub while they're currently in Benella, we want to make sure that we're showing up at the very top of that list. There used to be a whole back end that you needed to log into, but as of a few weeks ago, um, these days you can just edit your Google business profile right here on the search results page. So to log in, make sure you're logged into the Google account that you're going to be using from now on for this business. If you already own the business profile, you'll see that you're already able to edit it. When you search for its name in Google, you'll see that it gives you the option to start editing things. If you don't own it, you'll have to click on the own this business link. Click there and Google is going to hold your hand through a whole verification process. It might be instantaneous. It might take several days because sometimes they need to send a postcard to that address with a code on it that you need to enter to prove that you can receive mail at that address. It's all to do with whether people have previously owned that business on Google and that sort of thing as to how, how much security there is around giving you access to it. So what we're going to do today is update the core business information. In a 2021 study, it was reported that the profile content of a Google business profile was by far the most important factor in deciding how high your listing appears in search results. It was something like 37% importance and the next most important one was like 16%. So it's really important to get the business information correct. Once you're logged in, we can start making changes straight away. And Google actually straight away starts suggesting the most important actions you can take and the most important information you can enter. They make it insanely easy to get your profile up to a much better level all in one sitting. This isn't something, I mean, you will do it in an ongoing way, but you'll make drastic changes right now if you can do a short session and just follow through what we're doing here. So firstly, the primary category. Choose the part of your business that brings in the most revenue, that you're best at, and that most accurately describes your business. If you're primarily a vegan restaurant that does a few cakes, enter vegan restaurant. You can add all of the secondary stuff next. So for the farmer's arms, we're just gonna enter pub. As for the secondary categories, the restaurant is a really important arm of this pub. Let's see if that comes up. Yep, beer garden is in the list. They've also got a beer takeaway service. So let's go with beer shop from the list. Now we've already previously added a nice description in there explaining that the ownership's changed, which is great. They might be able to pull in some customers who previously visited the pub and not like the place and they'll see that there's a new owner and go ah let's give it another try not too sure about the original opening date but i know the new owners bought it in 2020 so let's just go with first of the first 2020 now this is interesting 
Based on the information that's already in the profile, Google says it's, it can build a simple website for you. We can scroll through and see that it's populating a decent little informational website. Obviously, we can change the logo and the styling a little bit in future, but this is a really good option for businesses that don't need a flashy website, and it's only going to cost you the price of a domain. Remember, production, not perfection with this sort of thing. Get it working and then get it better later. Menu link. Your menus will need to be online somewhere. Some people link to their Facebook that has the menus as a picture or something, or a website. But even if you just generate the Google website from the last step, you'll be able to create a menu page in there and just link to that page in this box here. You will also be asked to upload images of your physical menus later down the track in a different session. So we'll be hitting two birds with one stone when we do that. Location and address, that's pretty straightforward. You just gotta make sure it's correct. The service area section, that's usually for businesses like tradies or takeaways that do deliveries where customers don't necessarily visit the premises. If the Farmer's Arms did a specific food or beer delivery service or something like that, we'd add their service areas here. But as it is, customers pretty much only visit the pub itself rather than getting deliveries from them. Opening hours might sound silly, but it's incredibly important. It's really frustrating when a Google profile says that a business is open and the customer rocks up and the door is locked. It feels like you've been lied to <laughs> person to person is genuinely how people react to that. So it leaves a really sour taste in people's mouths. In this instance, Google is suggesting some uh, hours at the top. That's probably based on GPS data where they notice people being inside the pub. And I know that that's all correct. So we'll just hit accept. You can add specific hours for certain aspects of the business. You might use this to show perhaps Perhaps when the kitchen closes as opposed to the bar if they close at different times that way when people are searching for dinner as opposed to bar Google will try and warn them that the thing they're looking for might be closed amenities uh, dogs allowed yes gender neutral toilets no outside food allowed no seating yes bar games live performances live music karaoke they'll be showing the World Cup uh, live sport yep enter what the POS system accepts so Visa MasterCard etc etc make sure you're hitting save constantly just to be safe um, it accepts reservations in the planning section uh, but they are not required. And that's it. We've given Google tons of information. So now they can be confident that they're displaying true up-to-date information to their users. Just going through and keeping only this stuff updated regularly makes you more likely to appear higher on Google Maps and Google search results pages.